Hey everyone, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Well, look what job I've got to do, and it has been raining all night, and it's going to rain today and tomorrow. So, I got to kind of work out what I'm going to do, because Miss Duchess here is getting an otter on her, and that is a bull laying next to her, and this is the reason why a lot of people don't keep bulls or cows with horns. They busted that up. They have an itching post, but that bull got in there and he was rubbing all over that and it was sinking down into the mud and the manure and it couldn't take his leaning on it. He's probably a good 2,000 pounds and there was just too much back pressure on it. So she's feeling lazy today, but just the front part of her udder is filled up, but her teeth are pointing forward and she's only had one calf. She had a real hard time of it. She got herself laying upside down on this hill when she was giving birth last time. So I want to get him separated out or at least get her separated from them because this one pushes her around. And my son's been doing the feeding for about three weeks now. And I've been feeding him on and off for the last year. Well, the ring feeder got moved from here up to the far corner and that bully cow, she wasn't much letting Duchess in there to eat. And there's just the two cows and the little bull calf got moved over to the other pen when we were fixing the fence line here and the bull ended up back over here. And I figured, well, in case anybody's pregnancy didn't take you know, let him be in there for a cycle or two. So it's time for him to get out. He's been in there all winter. Plenty enough time. And that other cow's got a pretty good looking belly on her. So no udder forming on her yet. So I hopped in today. I moved this round feeder. You can see here where it's been sitting. Well, it gets close here. And then they weren't able to get on that side of the dividing line between the fences. And you can see there's just standing water everywhere. And this is the highest point right up through here. So it's good to feed them there. If you do it for too long, it gets built up. And then you end up, like down here, we'd fed them for a long time. And it was pushing the bottom of the fence out or you can bury your fence in it. Got some backhoe work to do. Load out some of this manure here. I'm not quite sure how he wants to do it, but... You know, you don't want to get your tractor stuck and you can't hardly walk in there, which means they can't walk in there real well either because they sink right down in the mud. So I'm filling up their water and move the round feeder. But you can see it's pretty wet. Some of this, you know, will just become waste like that and pack it all down. But I got some work to do on that hut. So she's got a dry spot for her and her baby to lay. I'd like to move her into the barn, but... Oh, feeding them, shoveling out manure, that's just such a hassle. And just the, I'd have to get her in a trailer to get her to there, to get her 300 feet. <laughs> well, we're coming out to see what Guy's doing today. The backhoe's been running for a while. He's been gnawing away at this pile of dirt. Taking some away, moving it to some other spots. There he is. He's down in the very lowest spot. So this area right over here, he had a curved bank from the motorcycle trails and some hills and a few stray trees dead and not growing right through here. Everything got moved. Some of the good stuff he could use for firewood got moved. He buried what he couldn't use and just kind of let that be organic material. Look how this runs. So we started noticing that this batch of brush, it's a, like a wet growing kind of garbage. The deer always kind of hide in there, but all that waterway where this is, the different color, is the original grass waterway. And everything that's getting green is all the new hay planting. It's a little wet. He's spinning a little bit. It was real messy last night. We had rain different times of the day. 
He doesn't usually do stuff like this when it's very hard. He was spinning out a little bit there. Now I'll back up, go a different way. He didn't want to tear up his hay field. But all this, he's already moved into another pile of dirt here, leveling that out. It's going real good. Uh, one of my viewers commented that it's amazing what people will do to good land. And we're working at it. We're working at it. Fortunately for us, he hauls the fuel, so we're not having to get a bunch brought in. See here, he's got some laying down smaller stuff. He'll just bury that. Uh, we had to get down here yesterday. He had um, a drain tile that is coming out of the field and somebody put a concrete wall right in here somewhere and they weren't meeting up it had originally been clay tile they switched it to corrugated at some point and then it wasn't connecting anymore so there's a bunch of field stones from the edge of the field but this is an area that I hadn't even gotten to to explore until last year. And of course, when I was out here, oh, mosquitoes, terrible. So here's the drain tile. And it was just a cement wall sitting right here. Their plastic was about uh, six inches too short. So it was funny, we were trying to water the trees that we had planted up there in the hay field and I was trying to lift this up and fill five gallon buckets out of it oh it's flowing a lot better now it was trying to kind of go sideways around the wall and this is just better a lot of water flowing from that bit of rain yesterday a lot of wind we lost a big big branch up front and some neighbors lost part of their metal roof I know my father-in-law has been doing a metal roof on his shop and he lost some of his new work because he didn't have his edging on yet. It's cumbersome. That's why I'm not riding with him right now. Sitting on that little plastic blue seat. Only half my butt fits on it. <laughs> Need to put a full-size bench in there. George was sitting on my lap the other day. We were barely on it. Fall off your seat sitting on it like this. I can't imagine having this as a job, you know, having to do this, having it throw your body around all day long. I was bringing him a little snack. Cheez-Its and the sun-dried tomato flavored wheat thins are two of our favorite snack crackers to get. These are a little bit salty, but... Last time I accidentally bought the extreme or twice baked ones and they taste burnt. Yeah. Dig it in a little bit, it's a little wet. So this is what he's been working on. He'll just do an entire fuel tank full of fuel, come out here, work till he's running low. It's getting to be lunchtime now, so I thought he might be ready to take a break. And Kind of see what's going on. So he'll just level that out to fill in this area and get rid of the big pump. There are plans to bring the bulldozer of his father's over to here. Uh, we want to get it loaded up on the Eager Beaver and bring it. It's a matter of the trailer's being used for something else right now. I'm not sure what. I'm gonna go over here and see what he's done. I got a deer stand in here from many years ago that's just some plywood garbage to get rid of. But see, all this brush, you know, where do you even start to decide what stays and what goes? This is just a mess and there's a couple of nice cedar trees trying to grow. Must be he was trying to kind of work in this area. Got a vermin hole. Yeah. Must be it wouldn't dig into it or something. That's quite.
quite a hill. See, like there's that tree there. It's not doing any good. It's not going to be anything. And it's not growing where it ought to be at all. Just about got a regular cut through here going to that part of the maple woods there's a lot of maple growing in here on the other side of that creek and then it picks up again at the top of this hill now if he can level that hill out a little bit we can go right through here without going over that way and adding you know 900 feet to our path to, to go around with our sap wagon is blocking our trail through the maple woods and we're getting all of our buckets and drop lines pulled out we worked through this section earlier today and it's just a mess climbing all through here so we're having to do clean up at the same time as we're doing pulling our maple tap it was like almost 70 the other day i think it said it was going to be like 65 68 it's a bit colder and cloudy today from all the rain that we had and all that wind just kicked up a whole boatload of trouble. Beyond the backhoe over here where we unloaded that steel building, the whole slope is just a bunch of down standing dead wood, which is great because we're going to use it all for finishing any maple syrup that we have left to cook. And then anything left over, we'll be able to use for the last part of the heating season. put comments down below but he told me not to run the saw pushing it forward like that I know better and you know a few years ago I got him a helmet with earmuffs on it and that thing is just kind of uncomfortable but it protects your head and I also got him like a uh, cutting pants so that you can't cut through your leg. Well, it's the next day and there's no baby yet. I've been busy at work, but I noticed that her back end of her udder is all filled up. She doesn't have anything leaking out of her yet, and her back teats aren't like swollen up like her front ones are. And she's just getting a little bit of um, 
like discharge. So that means that she's losing what they call their plug and whatever. So, you know, could be, she's resting a lot, I notice, in the last 24 hours. Could be a day. Kind of thought maybe there might be a baby this morning. She's been kind of being off on her own. Now this one, she was laying here with her and usually this one's shoving her away from her. So she wants all the food for herself. She's selfish. She's a selfish mama. And the bull was out here. See what she's doing? They're using that for a scratching post and they got it all smashed up and I haven't had one chance to start messing with it. Good little make two calf hut. I make a little U-shaped blockade out of some bales of straw, throw a metal roof on it, throw some bricks and logs on it, and it stays put for the time being. And I'm hoping, I've been looking for the calf blanket, and I can't find it. My basement's a wreck. I think it got mixed in with a bunch of stuff that's supposed to get donated, and I'm going to have to go sort through it all again. If this baby's born today, we're supposed to get a freeze tonight or tomorrow. I hope, hope maybe she'll hold off a little bit. Well, everyone, I got a text message this morning. My husband was out early before me. And all the time, this is how the surprise goes. Little calf was born during the night. He's all dry. I always make him up a little bed of straw and some hay down here. Brought her down a container of water for a little secondary. She always likes to be off on her own when she has a baby. Every mom does. She's over here, standing close watch, staying away from me. She had a heck of a time having her baby last time. She ended up upside down on this hill and couldn't get herself upright. At some point she ended up hurting her leg on a T-post and had to get antibiotic shots for two weeks. Oh, this went a lot better. So she's up and moving around a bit right now. She's still got her uh, bag to dispel and we're not going to show her up close on that, but we'll check back on her in a little while. I'm going to get her some hay so she can up and move around and let her body do its thing, but she's dried off the calf. No help from us, and she held out past that freezing night. It was going to be like 35 or 39 last night. So 10 degrees warmer than the night before. And it's a sunny, beautiful day already today. Wonderful sunrise. It is about 9.30 this morning. So she's been up and at it early. Yeah. Oh, exciting times. likes to do what I want. always went for the front because maybe it's easier for him to snuggle up next to her.
It's raining a little bit. supposed to do something here. <laughs> He's so clean and nice. I think you're cute. <laughs> She's nudging him. Get up there. See her utter, Bethany? She's so full up. And then she moves. It's utterly huge. There he is. Oh, will you check for orange light bulb for the thing? Or two of them? Don't. You don't need to worry about that, ma'am. Probably easier for him to stand on that. I know some cows don't have anything at all. Keebler, or not Keebler, Corn Road. His front legs look like he's got socks. He looks like he's wearing a mask. He could be Zorro Bandit socks. <laughs> oh, it's so good when everything's right.
call him over to you and give him some milk. Some more milk in his belly to keep him warm tonight. 